Hey folks, so today we're going to show you how to look up all of the potential next sellers um, within your farm area um, or, you know, surrounding a, a brand new listing that you have. So first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to go up to farming. Okay, so in our previous video, we did a radius search. Today, we're actually going to do a boundary search and I want to show you how that works. So we click on boundary search. Our box for the address is actually going to come up here so you can go ahead and click in it and let's go ahead and let's try this property today 9043 Gallatin Road in Downey so once we actually click on that property it's going to move the map over to where that property is located it's going to drop a pin so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in so as you can see this area is pretty heavily populated um, so it should definitely generate hopefully uh, a lot of potential prospects so just right now as the map is actually rendering so as you can see my pin is already um, next to my mouse as I move my mouse around my pin is already ready to go right so all I need to do now is start clicking on the screen in order for me to kind of begin drawing my box so let's say I'm gonna click here click there and now I'm basically just clicking on the screen to draw my box right and it doesn't have to be a specific box it can be a, a shape just like the one I'm drawing so once I'm done all I need to do is double click on the screen all right and that basically signifies that this is the shape I want I'm letting the program know this is the shape that I drew and this is what I want you to focus on so as you can see it's the same thing like our radius we have a pin in the middle and a pin on the end so the pin in the middle allows us to move our shape and the pin on the edge allows us to rotate it, shrink it, or increase it in size, okay? So let's go ahead and go up to our next button here at the top, hit next, and it's gonna go ahead and bring up that white box just like it did in our previous video. With that said, right, we have our general box, property characteristics, assessments, we have all of these different tabs that allow us to build our farm. But today we're only going to focus on the custom filters. We're going to click on right here on the first column in the second row where it says next sellers. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Okay. So now it's going to go ahead and it's going to, I'm going to hit get count. So what the system is going to do now is it's going to analyze all of the different records and it's going to pull up a list of all potential next sellers within the given area. So as you can see, it's 173. So if I go ahead and I hit download or view my records, okay, it's actually going to prepare all of the records and it's going to put them in a table where we can easily look at all of them and, you know, review the owner information, review when it was bought, uh, beds, baths, square footage, etc. So as you can see here on the left hand side, we have all of the different properties and then we have all of the ownership information. Now, a question that everybody asks is, asks is how can it predict who's going to sell next? So what the program does is this box or this shape that we drew, it analyzes how long everybody has owned their home in this area. So for example, if we use a number of 10, number of 10, right? So everybody in this shape has owned their home on average for about 10 years. This means that anybody who's approaching their ninth year of ownership, their 10th year of ownership or their 11th year of ownership is someone who is most likely to sell within the next 12 months based off the overall average of the shape which is why we see here a plus one minus one right minus one being nine plus one meaning 11 so that's the way it definitely comes up with the prospective uh next sellers in any given area so now that we pull up our data, right? We can go ahead and again, save our farm. We can send the data. We can edit the search to add any more criteria. Maybe we want only homes with a pool or maybe only two story homes or homes between a specific bed and bath count. So we can definitely add all of those, all of that different criteria in there to further refine um, our actual list. So that's as easy as it is to generate a farm for prospective next sellers. Thanks, everyone.